Hello again fellow beach bum traders and welcome back for part two of our weekly trading game plan for the week of January 10th through January 14th of 2022. Hopefully you've already watched part one of our weekly trading game plan for this week. The Santa Claus rally for 2021 is over. If you have not already seen part one, I would highly recommend that you go view that as that will provide you with the context and input to our watch list updates and the stocks that we will be uh, watching for this week and our strategies going into uh, this week of January 10th through the 14th. So again, we highly recommend you watch part one and let's get started with part two. Okay, firstly, uh, if you saw last week's uh, weekly trading game plan, you will see that one of our uh, New Year's 2022 trading resolutions was to start to learn how to trade cryptocurrencies. And just a, as a reminder, uh, please share your New Year's 2022 trading resolutions in our Beach Bug Trading Facebook group. You can see here's our Beach Club Trading Facebook group, and there's a featured post, and we posted our New Year's resolu New Year's trading resolutions for 2022, and we're encouraging you all to uh, add your resolutions, share them, discuss them. Uh, I believe that will help you uh, get support for meeting your goals for 2022. So again, one of our goals for 2022 was to learn how to trade cryptocurrencies. So one of the things that we've done is to uh, publish a video. It's, it's currently, uh, well, we released it on Wednesday, last Wednesday, on how to create a watch list of cryptocurrencies in Weeble. So let's uh, look at and talk about uh, how we can trade uh, cryptocurrencies in Weeble. And please uh, watch for future videos on how to trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. If you're not already a member of our Beach Club Trading community, we would highly recommend that you subscribe um, and hit the notify button, uh, notify bell, so that you will be notified when we uh, release future videos, including uh, more on how to trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. So let's look at uh, how we can trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. Now we can also trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. If you are not already using Weeble, you can use our affiliate link included below and get two or more free stocks with your copy of Weeble. And then, as you can see, now we can trade cryptocurrencies directly in Weeble. I would highly recommend that before you start trading cryptocurrencies in Weeble that you read their FAQs, their facts, their help documentation. Which you can go to the help screen, go to the cryptocurrency section, see all the FAQs, all the documentation on how to trade cryptocurrencies and familiar, familiarize yourself with how that works, particularly the types of accounts right now. It has to be an individual cash or margin account. It cannot be in a retirement account. It is also important that you understand the tax uh, implications of trading cryptocurrency. So again, I highly recommend that you read the FAQs uh, before starting to trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. And we will go into more detail on how to trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble in further segments. You can quickly and easily see the cryptocurrencies currently available for trading in Weeble by going to the Markets tab. This is the online browser version of Weeble. You can click on the Markets screen, go to the Cryptos tab. You'll see a list of all the cryptocurrencies currently available to trade in Weeble and their current prices. As you can see, uh, Trading in uh, cryptocurrencies in Weeble is almost 24 by 7. I believe they say it's 23 hours a day uh, by 7 days a week. So again, you can see all the cryptocurrencies currently available in Weeble, current prices, etc. On the Markets tab, uh, market screen, the Cryptos tab. 
Um, again, we've uh, done a previous video on how to uh, create a watch list of cryptocurrencies in Weeble. I'll include that link in the description box below, so I won't go into how to create the watch list of, of cryptocurrencies in Weeble in this segment. And again, watch for future videos on uh, more details about how to create, uh, how to trade cryptocurrencies in Weeble. So if we go over to the watch list tab or watch list screen on the online browser version of Weeble, you can see our cryptos watch list. You can see currently we just have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and our watch list. Again, you can see uh, the video on how to create this watch list, etc., and then how to add symbols, etc., to this watch list in Weeble. So, the question I have for all our fellow Beach Bump traders is as we get started in trading cryptocurrencies in Weeble, uh, you know, what other cryptocurrencies should we add to our crypto's watch list uh, for trading in Weeple? So please uh, leave your comments uh, below or in our Facebook group. And those with more experience, more knowledge of the cryptocurrency, we would appreciate your, your feedback and input as to which cryptocurrency should we add to this watch list and consider trading in Weeple. If we want to then see the current prices for these uh, cryptocurrencies, we can go to the stock tab in Weeble. We can select our crypto's watch list, and then we can see the current price uh, for each of the cryptocurrencies in Weeble. So we will start you know, watching that as part of our uh, part two of our weekly trading game plans. And then as we learn more about trading them, uh, we can add more to our watch list and uh, make recommendations as to uh, when to trade, uh, when to buy, sell, etc. cryptocurrencies in Weeble. Uh, we do already have a uh, alert set on Ethereum. I'm interested in Ethereum due to its uh, use in NFTs and minting NFTs. Right now I have an alert set of 3,000. Uh, for consideration, our strategy again with cryptocurrencies. Uh, my current plan is to follow a similar strategy to that which we use for stocks, which is you know when it finds a support level, um, stable at a support level, turns up, crosses a BWAP, uh, we may consider you know making a buy at that point. So if we look at Ethereum, you know it's approaching that 3,000 level. Um, that may be attractive. The next support level looks like it's in the 2,000 range. So we'll see if it maintains that support or drops down to uh, the 2,000 range to consider uh, trading Ethereum. So again, I'm, I'm very interested in your feedback. We don't have a lot of experience in trading cryptocurrencies yet. We plan to learn. That's one of our resolutions for 2022. And we'd appreciate your input and help in learning how to do this. And we can learn together and profit together, hopefully. Okay, let's talk about the updates that we want to make to our stocks watch list. I'm in my uh, stocks watch list in Weeple. If you select the stock screen, select my watch list in Weeple. Uh, again, we have other videos about how to create, maintain a watch list from the stock screen in Weeple. So I won't go into that in too much detail. You can see the first one on our watch list is still Boil. We're still long foil, which is the long on natural gas, leveraged ETF to long natural gas. As you can see in part one of the weekly trading day plan, our thesis uh, uh, with this long position on foil, we're holding to hopefully uh, fill that gap on the upside. Hopefully that gas will break four and fill that gap. Uh, again, we're still long foil from 2386 on uh, December 30th. And we're manually moving our trailing stop limit, uh, trailing the price by about two support limits. Uh, so that was a lesson learned not to get stopped out too early on boil. So you can see we got in at 2386, which is down here. And we've been slowly moving our trailing stop up. So I've got an alert. Uh, that's where our trailing stop is currently. We're going to keep uh, moving that up, staying uh, approximately two support levels below the current price as it continues to move up. When it turns down and hits our stop, that's fine. Uh, we'll keep scalping boil. Hopefully it will uh, turn up and fill that gap. So again, we are still holding boil, long boil, uh, and continuing to profit nicely from that. And we'll keep scalping it 
um, until it does that gap fill or, or turns down uh, on the longer term. A DDD, 3D Systems, hopefully you saw the comments of last week's weekly trading day plan. We went long, 3D Systems at 20.07 on the 6th. Uh, you can see our price targets, etc. Uh, we like 3D Systems because they're profitable, they're optionable. Uh, we did not write covered calls against uh, 3D systems at this time because uh, there just wasn't an attractive um, strike price uh, at this time. You can see our thesis strategy and price targets for DD and uh, DDD in last week's uh, weekly trading game plan. Uh, so again, we, we actually got it below that price. Uh, you can see, you know, uh, Right now, it's it's uh, kind of hovering a little bit below where we bought it, which is fine. Uh, this is a long-term uh, swing play that we're, we're looking at. GLDI is the long uh, the Credit Suisse uh, monthly paying dividend on uh, gold. Uh, we would like to get back into that. Uh, we got uh, we made a profit, got stopped out, and we would like to get back into that in somewhere in the 831 to 828. You can see where the support level is. Uh, we would like to get back in there. I think it goes ex dividend again on January 20th. Um, so if we could get in before then, uh, we can then uh, collect that monthly dividend. A new one we're adding to our watch list for this week is Immersion Corporation, IMMR. Uh, I'm really uh, excited about IMMR. This is a haptic technology, which is the touch, the touch gloves, touch uh, suits, etc. If you've seen Ready Player One, uh, you know, the, the uh, suits, the gloves, the high tech that gives you a touch in, in the metaverse, in AR, VR. MR, that's what Immersion Technology does, and they're profitable. And I would like to thank Kerry Greikmeyer of the Best of Us Investors uh, channel for uh, pointing this out. His uh, stock analyst uh, pointed out Immersion to us, and we've had it in our database for a while, and now it has come to an uh, attractive price. So we're adding Immersion Technologies to our watch list. And if... Uh, if support holds and it turns up, uh, we will go along the merging technologies. Again, this is a metaverse play, an AR VR play. Uh, we've got the um, CES conference going on right now. So again, this, this may get a, a pop. And again, it's a metaverse play and it's profitable. So again, add I am a Marty watch list. If it uh, holds support, turns up. Uh, we think uh, IMMR immersion is, is an excellent uh, long-term play for playing Metaverse AR VR. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a due diligence video um, talking about them in more detail. Um, also, if you were watching the comments from last week's weekly trading game plan, you can see we went long pets again. Um, we went long at 24.76 on the 6th. Uh, again, this is their profitable company. They pay a dividend. It's not a huge dividend. The other thing that's attractive is they are optionable. You can see our strategy, our thesis behind pets in uh, this due diligence video we published a while back. And I'll put the link to that uh, in the description box below. Also, uh, we bought uh, pets in an E-Trade account. And as it is optionable, and we've done this before, uh, we're selling covered calls against that position in E-Trade. And we can kind of create our own uh, dividend by uh, selling these covered calls. Uh, we have a non-listed um, video uh, that I'll leave the uh, link to this video in the description box below. That's a bonus for watching our weekly trading game plan. You can go view that video now before we premiere it on how to sell covered call options in E-Trade. Um, and again, we have a sellout to sell some covered calls against this pet position in E-Trade. If those sell, then we'll collect that premium. Hopefully they'll just expire worthless. We'll do it again until we get out of our uh, position in pets. So again, 
for long pets against selling covered calls against pets, and you can see how to sell covered calls in the trade uh, via this video. Okay, we still have Roku on our watch list. It's been uh, pretty pretty beat down. It's got some downgrades. It's still trailing off. However, uh, we still like Roq. Once it uh, does reach a support level, it turn back up. Uh, please see our previous due diligence as to why we like uh, Roku. I'll leave the link to our due diligence uh, video in the description box below, and you can see, you know, why we still watching Roku, uh, uh, looking to take a long position in Roku, even though it's it's dropping off uh, right now. Um, one of the keys you'll see in that is Roku is a profitable stock. Uh, they generate a lot of revenue. Uh, they're profitable, so they're getting hammered down uh, in the stock uh, growth, stock uh, tech stock sell-off, um, and we're happy to take it at a cheaper price. So once it finally does reach a good support and turn back up, uh, we're happy to go long rope. You can see why in that video. Another one that we're adding um, now to our watch list is skills. Um, You'll see Skills is one that ARK Invest has been buying, Kathy Woods has been buying, they're into eSports, uh, we'll look at the brief in a, in a second. Um, again, this is another tech stock that's been hammered down in the uh, sell-off of growth tech stocks, but it's a profitable stock, and that's why we like it. Um, they are into eSports, which is a longer-term uh, positive trend, and again, you can uh, find uh, some videos on eSports, the future of eSports in the ARK Invest channel, and they provide a way for gamers to monetize uh, their game development. So again, a uh, longer term thread, um, trend that we like, and the key to this tech stock and the reason I'm willing to consider it, uh, even though it's a growth tech stock, is because they're currently profitable. So again, you know, profitable uh, value stock, even in the tech sector, uh, we find attractive. So, uh, you know, maybe in the future I'll do a detailed uh, due diligence video on skills as well. But add skills to your watch list. When it reaches a good support, it may be stable now. When it turns back up, we're going to go long on skills. Uh, UBXY is the leverage ETF that is long on the VIX. And again, as we've discussed, uh, if the VIX comes back down to 16 or below, uh, we want to go along the VIX, particularly headed into the March Fed uh, meeting where we expect them to increase rates, uh, possibly uh, we'll definitely wrap up the tapering or accelerate the tapering and possibly even uh, start to let bonds roll off their balance sheet and maybe even sell some bonds. So, uh, if we get an opportunity to go long the VIX, particularly going into that March Fed meeting, uh, we will take that opportunity. Uh, WYY is another one that we're adding to our watch list for this week. I believe we've had this on the watch list before. Um, it kind of is coming down to another support level again. It's again another um, in, it's an infrastructure play. Uh, you can see they do federally certified uh, secure identity management. It's communication, so it's kind of been beat down in the communication sector, but it is profitable, it is optionable. Uh, it is a low float, so it's kind of choppy, and that can be frustrating uh, due to the choppiness. But uh, if we get a good uh, price on WIY, again, due to the infrastructure play and the fact that it is profitable and optional, uh, we'll consider WYY, and again, that's maybe something I need to do more due diligence uh, on uh, to explain. Uh, Zoom, you'll see that we also went long on Zoom on the 4th at 175. Uh, we're, this is a long-term play, again, the reason you can see we have a previously published uh, due diligence video on Zoom, why we like Zoom. Uh, uh, I believe that's still unlisted, so again, as another bonus, uh, we may premiere that this Wednesday, but as another bonus for watching our weekly trading game plan this week, uh, you can see our due diligence video on Zoom, why we like this. You can 
uh, he in that video snippets from Mark and Bess, uh, rationale their thesis behind Zoom. Again, Zoom's a profitable company, generates a lot of revenue. Uh, we see a nice future for Zoom. It's been beaten down in the growth tech sell-off. Um, but again, this is a, a long-term play. Uh, we like uh, Zoom. So you can see that due diligence video in the description box below. And I, I think, you know, both, uh, well, Zoom, there's still an opportunity. You can see it drop below our price a little bit. Uh, so you have missed, missed the boat on that. There's still an opportunity, and you can probably get Zoom even cheaper than we did possibly. So uh, we hope that helps. And now let's look at, you know, our bullpen stocks and our shopping list. Okay, as we talked about in last week's uh, weekly trading game plan for the beginning of 2022, we're going to start to try to keep our main weekly watch list to a, a minimum so that we can focus on all of just those that have the, the best uh, setup, the best opportunities, and then we'll have another watch list that we're calling the bullpen stocks, kind of uh, mirroring Jim Craver's idea of having a bullpen stock set kind of in the next uh, line that we're not actively watching, but if they present an opportunity, uh, we would consider so we have another watch list in Weeble, it's called Bullpens, and again, you can see videos on, you know, how to create, maintain uh, multiple watch lists in Weeble. Uh, we'll put those links again in the description box, uh, but we're maintaining this watch list uh, as well, and we'll talk about it in our weekly trading game plans, and we're adding or updates we're making to our bullpen stocks now. Uh, one of the changes we're, we're going to make is we're going to take OLB off the uh, bullpen list for this week because it's not profitable. It's a fintech stock. It's not profitable. In the past, it's it's had some uh, runs uh, where it got some you know pops, some pumps, and it would make a nice run. But the fact that it's not profitable, it's a fintech stock. Uh, it's something, and it's dropped off. Uh, we're not. We're going to take it off the watch list. It's kind of dropped off. Uh, I don't think it's worth watching, so we're going to take it off the watch list. The ones we're adding to the watch list, you heard in uh, part one, hopefully, the precipitous drop in the uh, treasury prices that we saw in the FinBiz futures. All the treasury prices had a precipitous drop, and we talked about these ETFs that we found to um, go long on the price if it does bottom and turn up. Uh, upon look in, we shared the screener um, with a, a variety of these ETFs. We uh, shared that in the description box for uh, part one. Uh, upon looking at these in more detail, it looks like they potentially have more downsides. So rather than put it on an immediate active watch list, I'm going to add these two TMF, which is the 20 year plus bull leverage ETF. TYD, which is the 3x uh, bull long on the uh, 7 to 10 year treasury price. I'm going to add those to the bullpen because, again, uh, if you look at a longer term chart, uh, we can see that they have potentially have more downside. So, uh, if they do not hold this support level and turn up, we're going to wait for them to come down. Uh, they present a more attractive risk reward. Uh, ratio at this level. So again, we're going to put TMF and TYD, these uh, leverage ETFs along the treasuries on the bullpen uh, list so that we are going to keep an eye on them um, and see, you know, if they turn up, uh, we should get alerted from our uh, automated alert system. And as you can see, we put alerts and weeble down here uh, to see if uh, we get uh, a lower price on those guys. Um, for now, we're going to leave Yala on the watch list. We're going to leave AQMS and Carve on, on the bullpen. Um, they don't uh, look like something that uh, we want to actively watch quite yet. Um, but if they do turn up and present an opportunity, uh, we may take a, a position in those. Yala, I still have some questions about uh, whether they are Chinese-based. There's some commentary um, about them being Chinese-based, and that uh, um, gives me some concern.
but it is profitable uh, to the e-commerce uh, UAE stock, but there's some, again, some questions as to the Chinese ownership and what impact that may have on them. Uh, shopping list stocks, again, as always, we highly recommend, you know, you keep your shopping list of uh, stocks you always want to own, that if they present a good value, um, if we have a drop-off in tech and you want to buy Microsoft or Apple or whatever and you see an attractive price, we highly recommend that you have your shopping list ready. Uh, we may see that this week. You know, we saw a pretty, pretty severe drop-off uh, based on the Fed minutes and uh, that may present opportunities for you to scoop up some of the stocks on your shopping list. Uh, we hope this all helps. Uh, we hope you like this video. Please let us know in the comments below. Please smash the like button. Uh, uh, if you're not already a subscriber to our Beach Fund Trading uh, channel, we hope that we will, you'll choose to do so. We hope you will share this video with your fellow Beach Fund traders around the world and, and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Again, we're we're releasing uh, additional videos as, as quickly as we can. Um, you can see we'll put uh, links in the description box to our homepage, which is under construction. Uh, we also have a Patreon page that we're building out and the Discord that we're working on that is linked to this Patreon. If you're willing and able to help support our efforts to provide this type of content, greatly appreciate it. You will see the link to our Patreon included below. Uh, you'll see we're releasing our trade alerts first to our Patreon members and then uh, in subsequent social media. So we will leave links to our social media. Keep, keep an eye on the comments of this weekly trading game plan and our social media uh, for uh, when we take positions, etc. Um, we are also posting our, generally, when we close a position, we are generally uh, posting that to Patreon as well. So join us in our uh, Beach Bump Trading Facebook group as well. And again, we hope that you found this video helpful. Please let us know in the comments below. And good luck and have a great trading week. We hope that you like our weekly game plan for the trading week for this week. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you found this helpful, we hope that you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Plum Trading YouTube channel. And please click the bell icon below to automatically be notified whenever we publish a new video. Please also share this with your fellow traders and friends via the share button included below. And let us know if you found our weekly game plans helpful in the comments uh, included below. And uh, let us know how we can improve. What would you like to see more, less of, etc. Thank you again for watching. Uh, good luck and have a great trading week. Bye.